In the 1600s, the Japanese developed a method of technical analysis to analyze the price of price contracts. As you can see here is the high price, the upper shadow, the opening and closing price, whichever is greater, the center section of the real body is empty. White if the close is higher than the open, otherwise it's filled with black. The opening and closing price, whichever is less, is on the bottom. The lowest price or the lowest shadow is the very bottom. The prediction of candlesticks is based on primarily on patterns. The most popular patterns are thoroughly organized and understood if you want to go look at the website. And you have here you have the body. It's it's basically a way of showing the pricing. It doesn't really do any calculations or anything like that. It represents one period or one day of data. Basically it's just a candlestick is just to show one day or one part of data. It doesn't really show any calculations and so forth. But here you have some of the patterns. You have the bullish reversal pattern with high reliability. You have the piercing line, the kicking, the Ben and Baby, the morning doji. Some of those things, medium reliability, and things like the dragonfly doll, the long leg doll, the engulfing pattern. Low reliability are things like the belt hold, the hammer. Hammer is a low reliability thing. Inverted hammer, of course. Harami. If you want a bullish continuation pattern, you have the high reliability on the side by side white line. The mat hold. Or you have the rising three methods. We'll essentially talk about what those mean and so forth. But some of these things, if you understand what they are and know what, what they look like, you can at least say, okay, this is a high reliability, this is low reliability. But a bullish reversal or continue pattern, most of those are low reliability patterns. Okay, as we go through these, you can say, okay, some of the high reliability things that you look at, you can look at these and say, all right, if it looks like, okay, it's got a little bar there and two bar together, then it's probably a higher reliability pattern for a continuation bullish continuation and that's just the idea that you have of you have a lower liability pattern if you look at some of the higher ones you can say all right this is some of the things that I've seen I understand these things and you look at those and research those get an education understanding of them then you have an understanding of, of what you're looking at in terms of what it's doing what you can think about if you want a bearish sort of thing if you're looking for like a port or a call or just knowing that it's going down in price, you can look at the bullets, the high reliability is the dark cloud cover, the kicking, the abandoned baby again, evening star, the black cross, the three inside, the three outside, and then you have the lower reliability and so forth. We won't get into those too much, but if you want to look at those, you can look those up and look at them like a the hanging man, for example, the shooting star. High reliability for a bearish continuation pattern is essentially the three the hanging three methods. Essentially that's the best one for high reliability wise on the candlestick. If you want a bearish reversal, you have some low reliability ones, the ones that aren't too too great for doing and understanding and so forth. And some of these ones, like like I said, if you want to get the information on them, if you want an understanding of them, then we can go from there and you can look at those and get the education. But I'm mostly concentrating on the higher reliability so that you'll understand what to look for in a bearish or a bullish continuation patterns and so forth. In other words, it's still going to continue in that pattern. It's not always 100% certain nothing ever is, but those are the things that you mostly want to look at and look for in those circumstances. So as we go along and look at those bearish reversals, you see some of these ones are the, the kicking and all those things that we talked about. Like the neutral reversal patterns, like it's going to a neutral, the medium reliability, the low reliability. Some of those like the long wing doji, the umbrella, inverted umbrella and so forth. Some of these other ones are low reliability. And again, that's the same reasoning of it's not too, un, too great of a reliable source, but it can still be used to say, okay, maybe, medium reliability and so forth. If you want some support and help, we can go to these different pages and so forth. Um, the bullish pattern, you can look at the, the Trade King website and so forth if you want to look at those things. You can say, okay, what, what is a bullish pattern? You can get some more education, understanding, and know exactly what they mean. A bullish, obviously, is when it goes up, a bearish, Generally speaking, when it's going down, the old saying of a 
bull goes up the stairs, the bear goes out the window, it means it goes down really fast, and generally it takes a while to climb back up. The neutral pattern is when it's just sitting there flat, like flat waves. <laughs> you can make money, or under if you under, have an understanding, you can make money in any type of those three patterns. It's just a matter of what you understand, your education that you get, and the way that you use that education, and of course, doing with your plan and so forth. If you want to look at some of these things, there you go. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next lecture, guys.